What do you think about your travel now? It's a unique experience. It's very encouraging to see so many destinations available uh, after almost two years of lockdown. What is irresponsible is the number of children that are traveling unvaccinated. And that's all. And don't ever transit through Madrid airport because they've got more harmon. They, they, they nearly go to the bathroom with a harmon. You know, they've nothing else, no pasta, no chicken, no fish, langostinas, nothing, all harmon. They have harmon, as the Irish would say, up their ass. And that is cancer in gen and not good for them, but they get deeply Christina, offended this one's uh, when you talk about restricting harmon. Where are you playing today? Went to Dubai, Dubai uh, to visit some Arab friends and uh, go at night into the desert, the coolness of the desert. Oh. And uh, I'm president of the Moroccan Camel Association owners, and we're having a conference in the desert uh, on Monday night. So um, we're, we're, we've ordered some. A special um, cider and uh, camel meat uh, with some Irish potatoes. So that's it. How did you prepare? How did you prepare, and how long did you prepare for your this preparation for your travel? I'm preparing for my travel nearly for six months. It changes all the time. The worst part of the travel was leaving Ayamonte. Uh, to go to Huelva with uh, my old taxi driver uh, who still has a notion of uh, the price regime of the tiger economy in Ireland under uh, shitty uh, Bertie Ahern and uh, uh, the result was a delayed train to Madrid, a slow train to Madrid and uh, a sojourn in in, in near the airport in a, in a third world hotel called Pullman from the Accord Group. Uh, they, they, they might be pulling something but they're certainly not pulling men anyway. That was an outrageous experience. The food was of Harmon, Harmon, Harmon. And the wine is disgusting. So I won't be going there again. The whole cost of the whole venture came to 1,060 euros. Thank you. Thank you.